us plays games badly zen plays games badly and uh welcome to us playing gta 4 hopefully this time we've got uh, everything up and running and of course the problem with gta 4 is that it's quite noisy now i've uh, just uh just reinstalled this on the xbox one so for your benefit we're going to turn on subtitles turn on subtitles so that you can actually see what's uh, going on as people talk we of course won't uh, won't get uh, a lot of the random stuff that you see in gta but hopefully that will be enough for you to uh, get a glimpse of what's going on so we've just arrived we have just got off the boat from russia it's uh, interesting how topical this game is already um uh, no, this appears to be a warehouse. I thought this was the way we were meant to be going. Nope. Well, that's a stonking good start. So we are following, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we are following a little yellow line, uh, which is going to take us to our first job. Now, GTA is, is joyous in that you can, of course, play it in a myriad of wonderful inter and interesting ways. You can follow the traffic laws, you can uh, decide that actually the traffic laws are not for you. You can drive on the pavement. Of course, if you do break the law, eventually the cops will show up. Um, they tend to do that when you ram into cars and run over people. They get awfully upset about that sort of thing. Whoops, this is the turning we want. Ah, get out of my way. Uh, one of the things that always trips me up on, uh, on a game like this is, as you can probably tell from my accent, I am European, I'm from the uh, UK, which means that actually these, uh, these games which are based in America uh, make driving on the wrong side of the road quite difficult. Uh, here we are, we are here to follow the American dream and we follow the American dream in the way that a lot of Americans do according to, uh, uh, according to GTA by stealing. I'm not sure what that says about America as a nation, uh, but that does indeed seem to be uh, what, uh, what GTA wants us to take away with this. Here we go. Isn't it lovely? There are rats and cockroaches, and this is our place. This is the big mansion that this guy in the very loud shirt has told us we are coming to. Oh, there we go. There we go, full of crap. And of course, it being GTA, we have a bit of misogyny on the walls there. A lovely uh, Becky Sue not wearing very much on our damp wallpaper. So we are here talking about luxury condos and sports cars. The stuff that our cousin has been writing home about. So he's written these letters to mum and letters that he's written to us to say how big this Mr. Roman is living the American dream with the big car and a big house. Condos, women and money and the beach. And of course, we have none of it other than opportunity. So the big things here, <laughs> the biggest things about his life is the cockroaches, which you can still see in uh, adorning his shoe there. So he is, yes, he does admit that one of the things that he's done is being the best about being bullshit. Now, we've given up our life in Mother Russia, which is my attempt at a bad Russian accent, to come and live here in the US, uh, to take over the world. And to do this, we're going to have to do a lot of nefarious deeds. First, we're going to need a job. <clears throat> we're going to need to find a way to, to live. <clears throat> so what is it? that has chased us all the way from one side of the pond through the Merchant Navy to here. It's because we've been a bit of a bit of a bad boy, but we don't find that out for quite a while in this game. I haven't finished this game, haven't completed it, as you probably guessed. Uh, there's a point at which these games get far too difficult for me. Um, and uh, uh, dying repeatedly, as those of you that watch the Titanfall stream, if you haven't watched the Titanfall stream, you can find it on our YouTube channel, which is uh, Zen Plays Games. Uh, look us up, like and subscribe on there, and you can watch the two-hour Titanfall video, mostly involving me falling off a wall. 
So there we are. We've been... Uh, uh, war is for the young and stupid. A thing that we don't want to do again because we were young, we were stupid, we were angry. And that's not an excuse because we have that thousand yards stay. And our cousin has fallen asleep because our story was so interesting. Wow, this intro scene doesn't half go on. Okay, so... Uh, wow, okay, lovely. A rat took a crap in our coffee. So we're going to go and work at the cab office and learn how to play the game. Down at the block, turn right, yada, yada, yada. Um, there we go. We're going to watch uh, some porn and have fun with our cousin. Is it just me or is that entire idea a bit weird? Going to watch porn with family members, even if it is live people. It's 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 just it's just weird. It's just weird. There are certain family members that I'm not sure I would want to be watching porn with. All right, here we go. We have uh, control. The flashing uh, thing on the radar shows entrance to the apartment, and we can save our game here. We sleep on the bed. We can save the game and advance time by six hours. Let's have a look. How do we? And the flashing R on the radar shows us where to meet Ronan. Oh, right. So I, don't, I think this is times because we don't appear to be able to skip it. Let's save our content. And we're going to go see Ronan. Um, so let's uh, head out the door. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten that doors are automatic here. We just sort of walk into them. I just love our swagger. Look at that. We are the big hard man Russian. There we go. We can save any vehicle in the parking spot outside your safe house. Park the car and exit it and the car will remain there for you to use. Replenish your health. We visit fast food vendors like hot dog stands which are all around the city. How very American. Um, and the circle around the radar represents your health. So that green bar shows how long we've got until we cark it. Keep a... Uh, an eye on that, people, because that's how we're going to be using Y to enter or exit a vehicle. Mostly what it means there is Y to rob somebody of a vehicle. Ah, so we have to kind of keep pumping A to run. You know, so we could take a... Fa Ooh, do you know what we could do? We could start this game as we need to go on, because uh, that's a cop car. Now, I don't know if any of you are familiar uh, with... Um, uh, with these games at all, uh, but they get awfully upset when you steal cop cars. Um, there we go. So we can left trigger, right trigger. There we go. So the car we have chosen to steal is a cop car, and we can press Y to dive out of a moving car because that clearly seems like a sensible plan. Um, now, I don't actually know whether or not, uh, if we're driving around in a stolen cop car, whether or not people are going to notice. Well, let's let's find out. So we're heading to that R. Oops, there goes our bonnet. We didn't need that anyway, did we, people? Uh, I mean, who needs a bonnet on a car? It looks better when you can see the engine. Um, presumably all chromed. All right, so somewhere over here. Yeah, well, get off the road. I'm driving here. Ooh, there's a cop car. Hello. No, they don't seem to be bothered. We have... Oops. I mean, they'll seem bothered if we run into cars like that. But do you know what? We might have just gained as our first car a cop car. Excellent. So there's a little arrow to show us where we've got to stand. And our next cutscene. Our next cutscene is where our friend here uh, tells us uh, that he's not going to have a driver. Um... While he's trying to chat up the secretary. Um, look at that. I see stars. I see angels. In my homeland we have a saying. Yeah, we've got one too. You're a fag. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, so this is, this is uh, us. Uh, us finding life in the big city. Very difficult. Now here we are. Nico. That's us. The Russian coming over here. Taking, literally going to be taking American jobs. Far more political than you would have thought at this time. And uh, welcome to the stream, whoever's just joined us. Just noticed my view account has gone up to two, so welcome. Welcome. There is a chat box if you would like to, uh, if you'd like to, to chat in it. 
but of course there is no requirement to do so so uh, are we gonna ah yes here is the muscle the guy that's come round to demand that Ronan that's our cousin the guy in the loud short uh, pays his bills there we go yeah we just accuse him of being an idiot that's a sensible plan this guy is clearly the boss um, he is going to make our lives awful I mean, just look at that though as a moustache at what century was that kind of moustache thought to be a good idea it needs more body because otherwise it looks like he's got some sort of rat's tail that's died on his face um he appears to be mad is it just me or is that secretary surfing porn there did you just see boxes with pictures on it wow i mean i guess she's hard at work there we are see pictures of stuff um i am gonna reckon that this being gta those pictures if we zoom in are probably just as naughty as the rest of the game so we're going to go and have a drive around the city get to know the game oh we're driving them to a hardware store on dylan street because of course ronan oops uh apparently we're just standing on the car because of course ronan can't actually drive the car so i'm going to guess we can't keep our our cop car which is a shame because uh, I quite like that. All right, here we go. Out. Try not to zoom in and out on the radar by holding down. Well, we're mostly following this red line here. Um, which, handily, we. I'm not sure how you would play this game without the sat-nav, to be honest. Um, there are likely modes where you can turn off the sat-nav. Uh, corner, effectively, we can use left trigger to break. Uh, I like your optimism game. We we can barely stay on the road as it is. I think adding a handbrake turn is not in any way going to make life easier. Uh, so there are modes where you can play this without that little uh, that that little sat nav. But one of the things, uh, despite years of gaming, that I'm not very good at is remembering digital maps. Now I know that uh, that these things are unique. That there are landmarks, just as you would find in a in a real city. But I can't remember them. Uh, without without that little mini-map, I would be lost. wouldn't actually have a clue where we're going. So there's a, a left turn up here, which can get us round into, into the house. And we stop somewhere here. And, uh, oh, I've just turned the lights on. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And cutscene. One of the problems with starting a game on a stream is, of course, the opening cutscenes um so we've we've got an old phone which allows us to take calls it also allows us to to phone people um there we go oh there we go don't hurt people who are trying to hurt us there we go always the same the icon above the radar tells you when your contact has been added to the phone so we've got ronan added as a contact to your phone Oh, we've got to remain stationary in the car and look out for lone sharks. When in the car, use the arrow keys to look around. There we go. I mean, the camera moves, but uh, our little man doesn't. Stays. Look at that. Hands on the wheel, 10 to 2, just as you're meant to do. And we're meant to be looking out for lone sharks. Albanians. Um, because uh, there we go. Ah, oh. okay. Press A to answer the call. There we go. So one of the things that I have noticed is that the chat box on the screen is now in the, in the way of our of our phone. During the call, we can press down to skip through the conversation or B to hang up. And well, that's going to be useful. Is anybody else getting dizzy just watching this going round and round and round? There we go. Um, the music is awful. And I know that there is a way of changing uh, the radio station. Uh, but I have no idea what that is. Ah, here they are. Here comes the Albanians. There we go. Uh, phone Ronan and warn him. Okay, so this will be interesting. There we go. I think that's how we did it. So what we're going to have to do here, folks, is we're going to have to uh, briefly pause the stream while I actually attempt to move that chat box so I can actually... So I can actually see uh, where the where we put the um, where we put the little 
chat box so that we can uh, so that we can actually see the phone move the broadcast overlay so I think we probably want it over there there we go let's go back to the game there we go there we go we've managed to call um, Ronan that was more by luck than by judgment here comes Ronan Ah, uh, there we go. Ronan has been here. We can't run from him forever. Okay, so don't hurt the lone sharks. Ah, so one of the things that we've done by putting the uh, uh, the uh, the menu where we've put it is that now also I can't see the little mini map. And do you remember that bit where I said I was awful without the mini map? All right, so let's just pause that. We're going to have to put the chat box somewhere else. Uh, sorry, folks. One one second. I'd completely forgotten that this thing uh, needed both sides. So uh, as we just move around, let's try and find where in this broadcasting with Mixia. There we go. And more options. Party chats. Move the broadcast overlay. And I think I think it's probably top left is probably the closest we're gonna get. There we go. All right, so we can zoom away now. So here we are attempting to escape uh, the loan sharks, but at the same time, we don't want to uh, get attention for the uh, uh, for the cops. There we go, round here, oops, round here. Oop, people. We don't want to start murdering people too early in the game, do we? Um, there we go. Let's just chug along here. So do you remember that bit where I said that I'm European? It's just occurred to me that I am driving on the wrong side of the road. And I think we've just driven past where we wanted to go. Oh. See, it's, it's these Americans, you know, driving on the wrong side of the road. Um, all right, so we've managed to go. <laughs> the thing about these streets is that they're not as logical as you would hope. There are bridges in strange places, alleys in, in places you wouldn't expect there to be. Um, I, I do live in awe of people who are able to make it around uh, these maps without getting horribly lost. Let's just see if we can reverse into this. And rounds. Ronan talks quite a bit in this. There we go. Let's stop here. Um, can we get out of the car? Or is that... No, I think we've got to park it right here on this spot. There we go. There we go. Maybe one we can get a premium quality once they've given us a cheap one. There we go. Wow. So, Ronan, top bloke, top bloke, very nice to us. There we go. We're auto saving. Don't turn off the console. There we go. Um, Customise the ringer and the ringtone. Let's see. So. We appear to have been left to do what we like. So we could go and save the game, but the game has just auto-saved for us. One of the weird things about the early part of GTA 4 is that you end up in this weird position where there isn't actually much going on in the game. And you kind of have to chug around waiting for things to happen. There we go. Camera modes. As we uh, head down, somewhere down here is our rat infested get out the way then our rat infested hole so let's just park here uh as is shown in the icon above the radar this icon will notify each time you receive a text so let's have a look how do we read these um shit need help come to the depot quick man ronan lovely we've just left there ronan you'd have thought that he could have actually just told us while we were there all right, off we go in back to the depot in search of our cousin Ronan, um, who's, uh, oops, who's very, get out. See, not very good at this driving round American streets. I need to be fair, I'm not very good at driving round streets in games anyway. Here we go, let's park up here. There we go. Three's a crowd. So while we... While we enjoy this little cutscene, 
I think what I'm going to do is attempt to uh, move uh, that See if that helps. There we go. No, it doesn't really help. So it's going to have to be top right. I'm good at this. I am good at this. Um, you can clearly see that I have done this before, uh, that I thought this stream through, that I knew exactly what I was doing. Um, there we go. It's the reason that we are not is because assholes keep threatening him. And assholes keep threatening him because he owes a crap ton of money. Such a good role model for us coming all the way from Russia. Trying to find a way of living. There we go. Bit of a problem at the office. Bit of a problem at the office is somebody's coming and beat it up with a baseball bat. Oh dear. There we go. Mallory needs a lift. So, I'm going to pick her up at the Hove Beach subway station and drop her off somewhere. Oh, there we go. There we go. We can get a date. Because, of course, that's clearly what we are after here, is a date. All right. So, we're going to take the cab, which basically means we have to take this. Uh, that's not how we get in a car at all. Let's try that again. There we are. Wait till the auto catches up. Boom. In a car. And off to the subway station. Um, more with this awful rap music. Um, yes, let's... Oh, we don't... I don't know what that is, but it's less annoying than rap. There we go. Now, one of the things that I do quite like about the idea of there being uh, lots of, uh, of radio stations is that... Uh, you can actually find something for everyone. Um, but uh, one of the things that I always thought that they missed a trick on was allowing you to play your own music because that would have been quite cool at times when you could play your own tunes as you drive around some of these cities. Um, I understand that in some of the newer games that is exactly what you can do. Uh, but I don't have the newer games because I am poor. There we go. Uh, L to sound your horn. There we go. Sound the horn. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we are... Oh, look at that. Michelle in the front seat. All right. So we're going to take them back to Michelle's apartment, ideally without murdering them or me. So most of this... Is, most of the weird things about GTA V is that it's... Uh, it's sort of a driving game um oh there we go uh only you get to destroy scenery and nobody really cares i've often thought that this sort of the random casual destruction that i inflict on this place probably would have got me well a license revoked though i suppose that nico coming all the way from russia doesn't actually have a license uh but that doesn't seem to bother anybody here at no point do we even contemplate getting fake ones we just get in the car straight off the boat from Russia and we're away. Oh, go on. Out of the way. That's me driving on the wrong side of the road again. I don't know how people do it. Drive on the on the left. It's a very weird sort of... Um, uh, very weird sort of feeling. It also doesn't help that I don't actually know who has right of way. And the game doesn't really care to explain it either. Uh, there isn't a European conversion... Um, uh, sort of game uh, so instead you all end up playing the American way oh look see you soon Michelle we might get uh, lucky with Michelle it does mean that we have to date her and take her places and all that sort of stuff there we go Ronan is calling let's see what uh, Ronan has to say anybody remember how to answer the there we go drop the girls off we've got number there we go. We've got to get it to close. Mohawk in the hove. A bit more 21st century. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, 
it's nice to see that somebody like Ronan, whose dress sense is clearly confused, uh, thinks that we need a better sense of style. Okay, so let's let's go on and do uh, clothing. Now, this is one of those uh, weird things about a lot of modern games that they do is that they give you a choice of outfits. I've even seen DLC, paid DLC, where you get certain outfits. And they have no real in-game benefit. They just make you look better. Far Cry 5, a uh, prime example. You could get uh, soldier outfits and different... Uh, different types of of uh, stealth outfits, which didn't actually change your stealth stats, but rather made your character look good. Far Cry 5, one of those games I probably should have uh, actually streamed, because I think you would have enjoyed my screaming at that game. Uh, so we are here at the Hove um, discount place. I'm going to guess those large words are, you can buy clothes from various clothes shops throughout Liberty City. Yes, clearly. That's what clothes shops are for. Your first clothes purchase is free. Um, so we can try left button to try on jeans. Um, so we can press A to buy pants. Um, I already own jeans. Um, let's see if we can, a leather jacket, there we go, let's, uh, let's buy that, but let's see if we can change our, um, let me try the down jacketing down, but it's this, this, uh, it's this rather awful undershirt that I want to get rid of, but, uh, I don't think that styling is, is really the thing that this that this game is about sneakers who calls them sneakers there we go um let's uh, so we can change and browse our color of footwear wow there's a point at which you have to wonder whether or not anybody actually cares let's try some boots let's try them in black shall we black is a there we go. that's a much better sort of style is now let's not do brown uh, there we go let's uh let's try boots jeans boots and we can try glasses so we can have uh, little glasses we can have oh so we get glasses or no glasses there we go so we can browse Um, let's have a look what we've got. So I think our options are clear lenses or slightly tilted lenses like that. Um, but none of these sort of really help. We're going to go with the clear lenses because I think let's let's up the idea that wearing glasses is cool. Not that I think uh, that this guy actually has a shot at being cool because just look at that. That is one awful outfit. I guess the idea is that you that you are so uh, so bored of your own outfit that you eventually go and uh, go, eventually go and spend some time and some money. Now oh, here we go. Phone call. There we go. We've got some clothes. We can't do anything while we're on the phone. There we go. There we go, when we've got the big money. There we go, we get a classy girl, because clearly that's what we need, is a classy girl, because there is nothing else that Russians want out of life other than a classy girl. So let's see if we can get in the car. In the car. Go on. In the car. Get in the car. Lovely. You wouldn't have thought that something is... You can place a waypoint on the map and GPS will display a route to that location. Good. But we don't really have anywhere to go. Oh, here we go. It's Michelle. We met Mallory, Ronan's girlfriend. I mean, you've got to worry a little bit about Michelle. Um, is that she met this guy who picked her up at a subway uh, and is like, why don't you come and meet me? So she's asking me out on a date. 
there we go but a date would be good yes because it's nice to meet a nice girl there we go hanging out with ronan all the time in game we have been here about four hours mate it's not exactly all the time and in fairness we've been in the country four hours we've met a girl that is probably the american dream uh press a button that doesn't exist on the new controller to go to the menu and then place a waypoint so map map no oh, map there we go um map ah so this will be interesting how do we aha right player so we want to go to michelle's place and we want to place a waypoint and then the game will map us automatically to it and then off we go off we go there we go let's uh let's have a look and explore the map in fairness to gta 4 uh whether you love or or hate this kind of game the scenery is at least quite nice. I also quite like how they've dealt with the field of vision. Now, you might not be able to see this, but one of the things about 3D style games is that it takes time to load the map as you drive through it, as you run through it. And in GTA, one of the things that you end up doing is moving through the map, really, at quite a lick of, of pace. Oh, oh! Here we go. We we think possibly want why he's pissed off. Oh, go. Um. Uh. So we've made it to Michelle, or we can go and save Ronan. And I think, uh, despite everything, Ronan hasn't actually been that bad to us. So, being as we have driven all this way, what we're going to do is we will actually go and save Ronan. There we go. We can come back from Michelle. We've, uh, she's, she's clearly uh, a bit desperate if she's asking Russians four hours off the boat. Oh, get out of the way, guy. Uh, off the boat uh, for a date. So instead, let's go and rescue Ronan. So where was I? Oh, yes. As the map uh, zooms into view, what they've done is they've intentionally blurred the map. Uh, to give them uh, faster loading times and to make it feel a bit more a bit more realistic. Can you see that blur up in the distance? So I think we need to turn left somewhere around here. There we go. The thing about GTA is it rather makes other cars a bit of a hazard. A bit of a hazard to choose display toggle off GPS route. I, I know that. Uh, I know that. That's that's why I'm I'm busy driving along a GPS route because you told me to. Uh, hello, GTA lover. Uh, welcome to my stream. It's not often that somebody has decided to join with such a obvious nick. Hello and welcome. As you can see, we are attempting to uh, find Ronan, who is uh, somewhere nearby, I guess. Um, where is he? We've driven to the point, but we don't appear to have found Ronan. Let's have a quick check of the map see what we've got so there is a zoom okay do i even want to know what you're going to what you're going to say um i'm sure ronan was here a moment ago but it appears he has vanished uh, is there a thing uh oh well hello uh and thank you for the follow uh, it's always nice to have new people following, even when we're very bad at playing this game. So this is where the game told us that we were going to be meeting Ronan. And Ronan seems to be, have vanished. Uh, so somewhere here, there is a way of actually finding what it is that we're meant to be doing. But I can't find it. I'm sure there was a little R. Uh, we're in the Firefly project. And we have a place where we're meant to be meeting Ronan, which is here. But I can't see him. We've got no arrow. We've got no uh, direction. Let's wander out and see whether or not the game wants to tell us a bit more. You are indeed my first follow, uh, GTA lover uh, 91527. I like the fact that you've got a short nick, easy to remember. Uh, you are indeed my first follow here on Mixer. And welcome uh, uh, to the channel. It was interesting. I wasn't sure whether or not anybody would follow somebody badly playing GTA 5. 
I'm going to guess by your Nick GTA lover that you have played this game one or several times before, uh, which would mean um, that you actually know wh what's going on here. Uh, one of the things that... Oh, well, that seems... There seems to be lots of people shouting at somebody that let's go and explore what's going on here. Oh, there we go. We found it. Here's the plot. It's a misunderstanding. Our friend in the loud shirt is being beaten up. I have absolutely no idea about the Swinset glitch. But, uh, oh, beat up Belder. Um, oh, that's not punch. What is punch? One of these buttons. Uh, B to punch. Is B still punch? Uh, this is going to be interesting. There we go. Um, while locked on an enemy, punch him. Uh, basically, randomly place buttons. There we go. There we go. So we will we will get this after dodging for four, mate. There we go. Oh, come on. Stop running away. Ow. We'll get there. So, B is uh, punching, and somewhere in here, A is block. <laughs> it's nice to see the AI is almost as bad as me. I wasn't even anywhere near you, guy. Here we go. Stay on the floor. All right, let's just uh, punch this guy a few more times, see if he eventually falls over. There we go. Do we get to stomp him into the ground? No, that's it. And thank you for the hosting, GTA lover, uh, 915T7. Uh, thank you for spreading the love of Zen Plays games badly out there onto Mixer. So I've got to look for the swing set glitch. I will. Uh, uh, I will. Oh, so I've got to drive while we chase somebody. All right, let's get into Ronan's car. Why do we have to keep getting into Ronan's car? It's a crap car. I brought a nice one with me. Uh, how do I run? Oh, there we go. That's how we run. Uh, no, that's just. Somewhere around here, there's an end exit. There we go. And round here. And head towards the car. Da, da, da. There we go. And uh, that's still jump. Zen, try getting in the car. Okay. B to focus the camera on where we're going. I mean, at the moment, I will indeed look up the swing set glitch. <coughs> and uh, uh, once I have had time to do that, GTA lover, I will do it for you. And if you are not about, don't worry. Uh, all of this uh, goes on to YouTube. So you will watch me attempting the swing set glitch. Um, and uh, in all its glory, the moment I know what it is. Uh, oops. Uh, and whether or not it still exists, of course, in this new rendition, because we're playing on the Xbox One. Uh, hence why we're streaming out on Mixer. So... Uh, a lot of the glitches, because these games have been respun for the Xbox uh, Three, uh, the Xbox One, uh, those glitches that existed on the 360 have gone. Okay, so he is on a completely different road to me. Ah, uh, oh, we can no longer drive through barriers. What a shame! That would have been a really interesting and easy way to catch him, which is drop the car onto him from a great height. Yes, I know we've got to catch up to him, Ronan. Thank you very much for telling us. Um, and the moment I work out what road he's on... Oh, get out! That, that's the problem. Oh, well. Um, this is the problem with being European, is that you're, I'm automatically driving on the other side of the road. Uh, the YouTube is Zen Plays Games. Thank you for asking. Uh, you will uh, find there that uh, I play a variety of games. And, of course, not just on Mixer. I do also have a Twitch account where I will uh, stream some PS4 games and pretty much anything that, that takes my fancy. And here we are, finally catching up to up to the car. Ronan, your car is awful, man. Get something with brakes. I mean, what on earth was that? Um, let's see, where has he gone? Oh, he's decided to abandon the car. He's escaping on foot. Come on, get out of the car. Um, we chase him down. How do we chase? It's A, isn't it? A to run. 
Okay, to run. Let's have a look. Should be around here somewhere. Unless, of course, he's... Unless, of course, he's gone another way. How do we... We can jump when we don't want to, but we can't jump when we need to. Get over there. All right, it says... The game says he should be here. Darden is trying to get away on foot. Yes, I am right here. Um, whereabouts is he? Well, this is interesting. There's the red dot. And we are standing right here. So, so this is one of the things that you are going to love about this channel. On what is basically our first mission I have managed to lose the suspect. The suspect is... Uh, not suspect, the bad guy. The guy that I am going to be beating up. That little red dot on our little mini-map that you can see, that's the, that's the guy that we're looking for. And for some reason, I absolutely can't find where he is. So we're going to try running up here, see if he made the mistake of running up. But of course, you'd think that nobody runs up when trying to escape because they'll just get caught. So let's, ah, there he is, handily standing in a, um, da... there we go, that's how good we are, jump right past the guy, left button to, to lock on, um, and uh, let's just basically button push until we floor him, basically, there we go, that's what we want, and he's going to swing, and then we can... Uh, punch him a bit, punch him a bit, and he'll get down on the floor. Oh, he gets up again. Let's just keep punching him while he's down there because clearly he's a bad guy. Um, I don't actually know why we are. Uh... Can you type in your YouTube channel? I probably can, but uh, not right now. Give me a moment and I will pop open a, uh, a channel and I will post you the URL. Let me just get us somewhere where we're not actively in danger. And I will get you the YouTube channel. One second, right? With me, just what I'll actually do is I should really get a, a bit.ly URL for one of these things, but I, I never get round to doing it. Um, it's, uh, it's, here we are. We also don't have a very nice URL name for it either. So let's see, how do we... Add to the chat here. Let's open up Mixer and copy in the URL. Somewhere there is a, a live chat button um, for this. Followers, there we go. Um, Black Xanthus Home. Da, da, da. And where's the live chat? Go. Oh, no, shut up. So you've managed to cause a bit of feedback there while I try to work out where the uh the live uh the live uh, stream has gone let's just make that wider as he stands there while i try and uh, try and uh, give you the chat which as usual uh isn't working on mixer now, i've had this problem before where for reasons known only to mixer the chat uh, just absolutely fails to load for me uh, so let me just post it there for you are you seeing that there we go. So that's the uh, awful YouTube URL. Um, hey, this guy appears to have portaled down with us. There we are. So let's uh, get back into Ronan's car. And finish our quest. So let's, uh, oops. You'd think... <laughs> Darn, it ain't a problem. All right, back to the depot. Thankfully, we've got a nice little, nice little arrow to guide us back because I have absolutely no idea where we are. Uh, where we are? There we go. So uh, it does look like we're going to need to stop at a food vendor uh, to recharge or to sleep, being as we, uh, unlike a lot of the games that we have been playing, uh, this kind of health bar doesn't automatically refill. And it's always embarrassing when you accidentally crash your car uh, into an old lady and die because you've taken too much damage. Oops. Uh, especially when you have a tendency to still drive on the wrong side of the road. 
That's all right. We didn't need a lamppost there anyway. I mean, it's not like anything nasty is going to happen to these people down in this dark part of the city. I mean, there's, there's no rough element. There's no criminals here, of course. All lovely here in Liberty City. Uh, up here and left, there's the car services. So drive through here. That's random people walking through uh, Ronan's garage. Let's park on the little sign. There we go. Quest finished. First set of loan sharks dispatched. There we go. Saving. Ronan is much happier. And uh, so I suppose what we can try to do is reignite our going on our date with Michelle. So we were trying to do that before. So Michelle is here. Uh, let's uh, set a waypoint. Set a waypoint. There we go. And head back. And we get a, a lovely little green line. Let's go follow our, our waypoint. Oh, well, you know, stop shouting at me. Um, 